Last week here on Thursday Night Thunder, it came down to MTA in the left lane, Iron Outlaw in the right lane. MTA goes upside down and Jamie Hurd in the Iron Outlaw Ford claimed his first checkered flag victory on Thunder. The question is, can he hold on? Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire. Gentlemen, to the final week of the July season, right here on Thursday Night Thunder. Iron Outlaw is the truck to beat tonight. Jamie Hurd getting his very first Thursday Night Thunder championship last week. However, Bradley Graham in the Clydesdale Chevrolet is number one in points, and Mitch Brown in Bigfoot is in second. It's going to be a shootout to see who claims the overall points championship. All 16 trucks are set and dialed in. Wildfoot's even making a comeback for the final week, and they're all after that man. Iron Outlaw. Now taking a look at your round one matchup. Up first we got Monster Mutt Husky taking on Midnight Rider. Overkill will take on Titan. MTA will take on the Bigfoot. And to close out the first half of round one, Outlaw takes on Stone Crusher. Now coming up first we've got Matthew Riley, the 2020 Summer Heat Shootout Champion, Monster Mutt Husky. Now set to take on the man who claimed his first Thunder Championship last season. Justin Lamb and the Midnight Rider. The truck hasn't been running too hot all season long. Had a couple of good runs in the beginning of the season. We're about to find out what he can do against Monster Mutt Husky. Stage, here's the green light down the straight stretch. Slight lead to Husky up and over no man's land. And Lamb was coming back on him in the end. But I do believe Monster Mutt Husky is your winner. We're gonna go back down and take another look at the photo finish. Justin Lamb put the hammer down coming out of no man's land. Who is your winner? It's gonna be. Matthew Riley in the Monster Mutt Husky, not by much, but enough for the victory. Now next up here in round one, Kevin Waddell in the overkill machine, turned the truck over in round one against Wildfoot last week, back in action here again. Now set to take on that beautiful 1972 Chevrolet pickup, better known as Titan, Zach Jurd pilots that beautiful Chevrolet over here in the near lane. Classic matchup, Ford versus Chevrolet. Overkill takes on Titan. Both trucks stage at the line. Here's the green light. They're even off the start. Up and over, no man's land. Titan gets loose and overkill. Gavin Waddell puts it over there in the parking area. Overkill will knock off Titan here. And round one in the last week of the July season of Thunder. Tough break for Zach Jurge, the Titan Chevrolet. Always running strong. Now next up, moving right along with round one competition, we've got Pop Steve Jones in the MTA Chevrolet, made it all the way to the finals last week, only to turn the truck over. He's now set to take on the legendary Mitch Brown and Bigfoot out of Pacific, Missouri, the eighth time Thursday Night Thunder champion. And may I add, he was the first driver to take Team Bigfoot to their very first victory. Ford and Chevrolet now, MTA taking on Bigfoot down the straight stretch. MTA with a slight lead, Bigfoot turns it over. Pop's got a little wild there in the far lane, but MTA is your winner. Not sure what happened to Bigfoot. We're gonna go back down and take a look at the MTA replay in a few seconds, but MTA is your winner. Taking another look at it right here. Coming off the line, Boat Trucks made a hard start. MTA starting to pull a little bit of a lead. Mitch Brown realizes he's in trouble. Watch right here, gets kicked off that first jump. Had nowhere to go. Look at Pops in the far lane, launches it over that center jump. Getting the win over Bigfoot. Now next up here in round one competition, we've got Tyler Medley and Stone Crusher out of Virginia Beach, Virginia. The Ford looking strong, hasn't come out of round one here recently. Now set to take on Mike Lanford in the Outlaw Ford, the former one-time Thunder champion. He's been running strong all season. Him and Pop's got a little bit of a rivalry going on, but right now he's got to worry about Stone Crusher in the far lane. There's the green light now. Stone Crusher got the Outlaw on the line up and over no man's land. And Mike Lanford in the Outlaw Ford takes home the win. Tyler Medley and Stone Crusher was hanging right there with him, got crossed up in no man's land, sent it over that center jump, giving Outlaw the victory. Now next up here in round one competition, we've got Ethan Medlin returning and Max D. Ice. Been running the truck a little too hard, rolling it over a little early. He is now set to take on the crazy cat, Jason Walken Prowler. Now ready to go. We saw that violent rollover earlier this season. The crew put a brand new body on the truck and it's running better than ever. Here to close out the July season. 
Max D taking on Prowler here in round one. Here's the green light now. Now the straight trick to go. Medlin's got a slight lead. Prowler trying to come back. Nose is over. And Ethan Medlin, Max D ice in the far lane, is your winner here in round one. Knocking off Prowler. Tough break for Jason Wolk. And we'll see Max D back in round two competition later on the night. But next up here in round one, the story revolving around this truck. Brandon Copeland and Wildfoot had a violent rollover last week. He is now set to take on Mike Canzoneri out of Kill Devil Hills, North Carolina, and Gravedigger. But I want to take you back to last week. Watch right here as he took on Gavin Waddell and Overkill. Over in the far lane, you see Wildfoot making a run for it. Watch him fly high up and over no man's land. Clips the first jump and the worst crash I've ever seen on Thursday Night Thunder. It has got to be one of the wildest races I've ever seen because both trucks rolled over. But nonetheless, the crew worked so hard getting that truck back together all week long. He is ready for competition right here tonight. Brandon Copeland did win the race last week, but the truck unable to come back. And guess what? He's back in action here tonight in the near lane. The wild foot forward out of Pacific, Missouri, ready to take on the black and green wrecking machine. Grave digger out of Kill Devil Hills, North Carolina in the far lane. Ford versus Chevrolet. Here's the green light down, down the straight stretch. They go, they're hanging even. Up and over, no man's land. And Brandon Copeland and wild foot. What a close race. Mike Canzoneri in the Gravedigger was trying to hang right there with him, but Brandon Copeland and Wildfoot put that big Ford horsepower down. He eliminates Gravedigger here in round one. What a close race that was. But next up, Cam Smith out of Jacksonville, Florida, bringing the old Reptoid back. Now set to take on the six-time Thursday Night Thunder champion. Bradley Graham in the Clydesdale Chevrolet staged over here in the near lane. And this man has led the overall points chase all season long, and he wants to hold on to it right here tonight to close out the July season. Reptoid taking on Clydesdale. Here's the green light now down the straight stretch. Reptoid pulled the lead. Clydesdale's looking loose. Reptoid's over, and Clydesdale came back in the end. Reptoid didn't cross the finish line. Clydesdale is your winner, but not by much. If Cam Smith, I venture to say, if he did not roll over, he would have took home the win, but Clydesdale is your winner. But now as we get set to close out round one, the Iceman, Jeffrey Skipper in the Air Force, now set to take on the current Thunder champion, Jamie Hurd out of Taganoxy, Kansas. The Iron Outlaw Ford Expedition staged over here in the near lane. He is trying his best to hold on to that checkered flag to move on to the August season of Thunder, but the Iceman isn't gonna cut him any slack. Who moves on to round two? Air Force and Outlaw now down the straight stretch. They're hanging even up and over the first jump. Outlaw's out of shape. Skipper coming back, turns it over in the end. Heard had his hands full coming out of no man's land. He gathered the truck up, but it was just a little too late. He gave the Iceman and Air Force the win. Now some great racing action here in round one, but folks, don't go anywhere because we've got round two competition coming up next. You don't want to miss it. What's going on, MTA fans? If you're looking to get in on the action right here on the MTA YouTube channel, look no further. I'm about to tell you guys just how you can sign up to get in one of these races. Head over to the link in our description, and that's going to take you right over to our Facebook page where we hold registration for all of the MTA events. And hey, while you're there, crush that subscribe button. Be sure to turn on the notification bell so you stay up to date with everything that MTA is doing. From new custom truck builds to special events and giveaways, you don't want to miss any of the great action MTA has to offer. Be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on Instagram and TikTok, and I'll catch you guys down the road. Back here now on Thursday Night Thunder, we are set and ready to go for round two competition, and now we know Outlaw is out of it. We are going to crown a new champion here tonight. Question is, who's it going to be? Monster Mutt will take on Overkill. MTA renews his rivalry with the Outlaw. Max D takes on Wildfoot, and then Clydesdale will take on the Air Force. Now up first here in round two competition, we've got Matthew Riley returning and Monster Mutt Husky. He looked strong in round one. Now set to take on Gavin Waddell in the Overkill Machine, who had a pretty strong round one win himself. He is looking to get his very first Thursday Night Thunder Championship, but so is Matthew Riley, staged over here in the far lane. One of these guys is going on to semifinals. It's just a matter of who can get across that finish line first. Stage at the line. Here's the green light now down the straight track. Overkill pulling a lead. Monster Mutt coming back on him. And Matthew Riley gets the win over Gavin Waddell in the overkill machine in the far lane. The Monster Mutt Husky is looking strong and bad fast here tonight. We're looking to see him back in semifinal competition. Now next up, the rivalry renewed. 
Pop Steve Jones in the MTA Chevrolet has yet to beat Mike Lamford in the Outlaw Ford, and he's looking to do so in their third meetup of the July season. Both trucks are running strong all season long. It's just a matter of who's going to outrun who in this race. Pops in the Chevrolet, Lamford in the Ford. Who's going on to semifinal competition? The greatest rivalry in motorsports, Outlaw and MTA. Now down the stretch, Outlaw's got a lead with MTA coming back on him. Outlaw turns it over, and I'm not sure who did get the win. Mike Lamford in the Outlaw Ford is upside down. Pops in the MTA Chevrolet was not letting him have any of it because he ran Outlaw for everything he had. We're going to go back down to the MTA photo finish and try to figure out who won this race. And ladies and gentlemen, what a close race, but the officials are giving Pop Steve Jones the win in the MTA Chevrolet in the near lane. He finally gets a win over the old Outlaw Ford, but next up, Brandon Copeland in the Wildfoot Ford out of Pacific, Missouri, now set to take on Ethan Medlin, the former one-time Thunder champion. Max D. Ice, he's running pretty good here tonight. He is now set to take on a truck that had the worst crash in MTA history last week. Two Teal Bandits gonna go head to head here in round two. Who's going on to semi-final competition? Wildfoot and Max D now down the straight thread. Wildfoot pulling a slight lead, Max D's in trouble. And Brandon Copeland making easy work of Ethan Medlin and Max D. Ice. We'll see the bad, fast Wildfoot forward back in semi-final competition. Ethan Medlin and Max D. Ice are on the trailer. But now next up here in round two competition, the man that just knocked off the current champion, the Iceman, Jeffrey Skipper in Air Force, renews his rivalry with old Bradley Graham in the Clydesdale Chevrolet. Both these guys have been on the MTA circuit for quite some time. They are former rivals when the teams were going head to head. And I can say this one may get a little bit personal. Clydesdale in the far lane, Air Force in the near lane. Who's going on to semifinals? Here's the green light now down the straight stretch. Clydesdale's got a lead on him. Air Force trying to come back on him. And Clydesdale, Bradley Graham, picking up the win in the Chevrolet in the far lane. Skipper was coming back on him in the end, but it wasn't quite enough to catch the old Clydesdale in the far lane. We'll see that bad, fast Chevrolet back in semi-final competition. But speaking of semis, we're kicking things off right now. We have started with 16, we're down to four. We're gonna see Monster Mutt Husky take on MTA, then Wildfoot will take on the Clydesdale Chevrolet, who we just saw beat out Air Force. Now at first, Pop Steve Jones in the MTA Chevrolet coming back after knocking off Mike Lamford in the Outlaw Ford. Now set to take on Matthew Riley, who has been dialed in and consistent all night long. Monster Mutt Husky ready to go in that far lane. We'll see what he's got for old Pop Steve Jones in the MTA Chevrolet stage here in the near lane. These guys are wicked fast all July season long. Who's going in the finals to close out the July season? Down the straight stretch they go. They're hanging even up and over no man's land. MTA's into the wall. Matthew Riley gets the win in the Husky. And he puts MTA on the trailer. Pops lost it there in no man's land. Got bobbled up there into the wall, giving the win to Monster Mutt. Now the question remains, who meets Monster Mutt in the finals? Brandon Copeland trying to recover from that bad crash last week, but he draws up one of the best of the best on the MTA circuit. Bradley Graham in the Clydesdale Chevrolet stage in the far lane. He got his sixth championship victory this season. He's looking for number seven right here tonight, but he's got to knock off the wild foot forward here in the near lane. Ford versus Chevrolet. Down the straight stretch they go, they're hanging even. Up and over the first out of car, Wildfoot pulls the trigger, turns it over in the end. But I do believe Wildfoot is your winner. It was a close call. Nonetheless, Bradley Graham and Clydesdale was letting it all hang out there in that far lane. Wildfoot up and over here in the near lane. We're going back down now to the MTA replay. Take another look at this, folks. Down the straight stretch, Brandon Copeland and Wildfoot holding the lead out on Clydesdale. Watch him right here, nose over kind of hard. Gathers it back up for that second set of cars. Gets across the finish line first. He did turn it over. The truck is okay. And they are now set and ready to go for the finals. And we're going to see Wildfoot take on Monster Mutt Husky. And now as we get set to close out the July season, it's final time, ladies and gentlemen. Who will take the checkered flag into the August season of Thunder? Brandon Copeland recovering from last week. Wildfoot's in the finals. Now set to take on Matthew Riley, the consistent Monster Mutt Husky. Both trucks are looking wicked fast all night long, and these guys are ready to settle it here in the finals to become a Thursday Night Thunder champion. Wildfoot in the far lane. Monster Mutt Husky in the near lane. Who's going home with the checkered flag right here tonight? 
We're gonna find out. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime here on Thunder Now down the stretch, but they go, they're hanging even, up and over no man's land, Rob Wood on the lead, Monster Mutt trying to come back, and I'm not sure who got the win. Coming across the finish line, it was close. Wildfoot may have had a slight lead on Monster Mutt in the near lane. We're going to go down to the MTA replay and try to figure out who just won this race. Right here off the line, both trucks were hanging fairly even, but the far lane, Brandon Copeland and Wildfoot starting to pull a lead up and over no man's land. Lands the truck smoothly and goes over that last set of cars, and right there you see Wildfoot is your winner here tonight. And ladies and gentlemen, last week's tragedy is this week's triumph. Congratulations to Brandon Copeland and Wildfoot on your first Thursday Night Thunder Championship. And now, ladies and gentlemen, as we look at the overall point standings to close out the July season, Gravedigger in 13th place with 130, followed by Reptoid, Max D, and Stonecrusher holding the lower half of the bracket closed. Over at the top half of the bracket, your overall points champion for the July season, Bradley Graham and Clydesdale with 185 points, Mitch Brown in second place with 165, and rounding out your top three, Pop Steve Jones in the MTA Chevrolet with 165. And ladies and gentlemen, that'll wrap up the July season right here on Thursday Night Thunder. Thank you all for coming out and supporting this channel. Be sure if you haven't already, crush that subscribe button and I'll catch you down the road. See you next week. Standing tall up in victory lane, I done brought the pain and now they're screaming my name, yeah. Everybody saw me rock the place, now there's flashbulbs are popping and mics in my face. In my face, always giving the crowd what they need, now they're wearing my shirts front row to nosebleed. Yeah. Now the crowd forms is what it's all about, signing autographs until the lights out, yeah. It's about that, it's about that, it's been a long time. It's about that time, it's about that, cause it's about that, it's been a long time. Uh, it's about